Was Jesus a Christian or a Muslim? Part 3. Comparison. 7. Fasting. The way of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Following the earlier prophets and fulfilling their laws. Moses peace be upon him, fasted for forty days by neither eat nor drink, he did neither eat bread, nor drink water, Deuteronomy 9 9, Exodus 34, 28. Earlier prophets also fasted, David, 2 Samuel 12 22, Elijah, 1 Kings 19 8, Ezrael, Ezra 10 6, Daniel, Daniel 9 3. Special months of fasting were instituted during the Babylonian captivity of Judah, Zechariah 8 19. A specific fast day, Jeremiah 36 6. A precise month for fasting, the ninth month, Jeremiah 36 9. Jesus Christ fulfilled this law, and fasted for forty days by neither eat nor drink, afterward Jesus, peace be upon him, was hungry, Matthew 4 2, Matthew 6 16. Jesus peace be upon him, carefully followed and fulfilled this law. Christian's Way their way that Christians fast differs, some Christians abstain from solid food, others don't eat special foods as, meat, fish, chicken and eggs. Some others don't drink special drinks as, milk and wine. Christians don't fast like Jesus by neither eat nor drink for a certain period of time, they do not taste hunger and thirst. Christians do not follow the law fulfilled by Jesus. Muslims way. Muslims fast from dawn until dusk for the whole month of Ramadan, ninth lunar month, abstaining from food, drink, sexual intercourse, smoking, backbiting, lying and some other pleasures. Muslims taste hunger and thirst, the fasting helps them to obey God, be more sensitive to the sufferings of others, develop self-discipline and appreciate their unity. The Noble Quran, 2-183-185, 187,000-184, O you who have faith in Allah and follow his prophet, Allah has ordered you to fast, as he ordered those before you, so that you may become mindful of Allah. Protecting yourself from his punishment by doing good actions, fasting being one of the best of these. You are ordered to fast for a small number of days in the year. Yet whoever of you is ill, with an illness that makes fasting difficult, or traveling, then they do not need to fast, but they can make up for these days by fasting the same number of other days. Those who are able to fast, but do not, should compensate by feeding a poor person for every day they did not fast. Fasting is better for you than not fasting and feeding a poor person instead, if you only knew what goodness there is in fasting. This was the first of Allah's laws about fasting, whoever wanted to fast did so, and whoever did not want to fast was permitted not to, and fed a poor person instead. Afterwards Allah made fasting a duty for every able person who has reached puberty. The Quran was first revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, on the night of decree in the month of Ramadan. Allah revealed it as a guidance for people, with clear proofs of its guidance, and the criterion between the truth and falsehood. Whoever reaches the month of Ramadan, and is well and healthy, is required to fast, and whoever is ill, or for whom fasting is difficult, or is traveling, then they may break their fast. If they do not fast then they must perform make-up fasts for the days they missed at another time. Allah intends ease, and not hardship, in what he decrees for you. And wants you to complete the right number of days and to glorify him upon the completion of Ramadan, on the day of Eid, as he helped you and made it possible for you to fast. So that you thank Allah for guiding you to this religion which he has approved for you. Al-Baqarah colon 183-185 At first it was not allowed for a man, if he had gone to sleep on the night of the fast and then woke up before dawn, to eat or drink, or approach his wife. Allah replaced this ruling, allowing you, O believers, to have relations with your wives during the nights of fasting. They are a protection for you, keeping you pure, and you are a cover for them, keeping them pure. You both need each other. Allah knew that you were betraying yourselves by doing what you were not allowed to, so he had mercy on you, turning to you when you asked for forgiveness, and made things easier for you. So, have relations with them, and seek the children Allah has decreed you, and eat and drink during the whole of the night, until the break of true dawn is clear to you. Then complete your fast, not consuming anything from the break of dawn until sunset. But do not have relations with your wives when you are in spiritual retreat in the mosques, because that invalidates the retreat. These laws are the limits of Allah, between what is allowed and what is forbidden so do not go near them. Whoever goes near the limits of Allah is close to falling into what is prohibited.
by clearly setting out such laws, Allah makes his signs obvious to people so that they may be mindful of him, and do what he instructs and leave what he has prohibited. Al-Baqarah 187. Perform Hajj and Umrah in a complete way, seeking only Allah's pleasure. If you are prevented from completing them by illness or an enemy, then you should sacrifice what is easily available of sacrificial animals, such as camels, cows or sheep. Before you take off your LHREM, and do not shave your heads or cut your hair until the sacrificial animals have reached their place. If you are prevented from entering the sacred sanctuary, then perform the sacrifice wherever you have stopped. Yet if you can enter it, then do it on the day of sacrifice, 10th of Dhu al hijjah or at least within the days of Tashrik, 11, 12 and 13 of Dhu al hijjah Whoever among you is ill or has some problem with his hair or his head, like lice or something similar, whoever shaved his head for that reason, then that is not a problem. But they should instead fast for three days, or feed six poor people from the area of the sanctuary, or sacrifice a sheep to be distributed among the poor of the sanctuary. If you are living in times of peace, then whoever takes the opportunity to perform Umrah in the months of Hajj, enjoying in between those things that are not allowed when performing the pilgrimages. They should sacrifice whatever is easily available a sheep, or a seventh of a camel or cow. If they are unable to make a sacrifice, then they must fast for three days during the days of Hajj to make up for it, and seven more days when they return home, making ten days altogether. This practice of having a break between Umrah and Hajj and sacrificing an animal or fasting for those unable to make a sacrifice is only for people who do not live within or close to the sanctuary of the sacred mosque. As for those who live within the sanctuary or close to it, they do not do this because they have no need to due to their constant being there and enjoying being able to make Umrah or tour freely any other time of the year. Be mindful of Allah by following what he makes sacred law, and by respecting his limits, and know that Allah is firm in punishing those who go against what he instructs. Al-Baqarah 196. Was Jesus a Christian? No. Was Jesus a Muslim? Yes. 8. A messenger and a prophet of God. The way of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Following the earlier prophets and fulfilling their laws. Jesus asserted that he was sent by God, i.e. a messenger of Almighty God, John 7:16, John 17:3, John 5:30, John 4:34, John 6:38, and John 11:41 to 42. Jesus referred to himself as a prophet, Luke 13:33 to 34. Others also called him a prophet, Luke 7:16, Luke 24:17 to 22, John 4:19, John 6:14, Matthew 21:11, John 9:17. Jesus was referred to as a servant of God, Acts 3.13, Acts 4.27. Jesus was sent only for, the lost sheep of, the house of Israel and not to the Gentiles, Matthew 10.5-6, Matthew 15.24-27. Jesus was called the Son of Man, Matthew 12.32, Matthew 12.40, Matthew 17.9, John 6.27. Jesus was also described as a man approved by God, Acts 2.22. This law was mentioned in the Old Testament, God is not a man, that he should lie, neither the son of man, that he should repent. Numbers 23 19, God is not a man, 1 Samuel 15 29, Hosea 11 9. The prayer of Jesus did not go unanswered, but was answered through the angel, which appeared, in order to strengthen him, Luke 22 colon 43. Jesus Christ fulfilled this law, he declared that he is a messenger and a prophet of God. Christian's Way Christians believe that Jesus is the second member of the Triune God, the son of the first part of the Triune God, and at the same time, fully God in every respect. Christians believe that Jesus is divine and God incarnate, have two natures, divine and human at the same time. The Christians view that the mediator between God and man must be both man and deity and not only man as stated in, 1 Timothy 2:5. Most Christians don't believe that Jesus was only a messenger, a prophet, a servant of God, and just a human being as asserted by Jesus himself. Christians do not follow the law fulfilled by Jesus. Muslims way. Muslims speak of both Jesus, peace be upon him, and his mother Virgin Mary with reverence and respect. Muslims believe that Almighty God gave revelations not only to Abraham and Moses, but also to Jesus and other prophets. 
Muslim believeth that Jesus, peace be upon him, is one of God's holy messengers, he possessed knowledge and wisdom, was blessed, born without a father like Adam. The miraculous birth of Jesus does not make him a fully God or a son of God or a begotten son of God. Quran calls Jesus is the word of God be, this does not mean that Jesus is God or son of God. The Noble Quran, 112 to 1 to 4, 573, 19, 31 to 33, 61 to 6. Say, O Messenger, He is Allah who is alone in being a deity. There is no deity except Him. Say, He is Allah, who is, one. Alone, without another, indivisible with absolute and permanent unity and distinct from all else. The one and only true deity, unique in His essence, attributes and deeds. He is the master to whom belongs all sovereignty and perfect, beautiful qualities. The one to whom all creation turn to. Allah, the eternal refuge. He who is absolute, perfect, complete, essential, self-sufficient and sufficient to meet the needs of all creation. The one eternally and constantly required and sought, depended upon by all existence and to whom all matters will ultimately return. The one who did not give birth to anyone, nor did anyone give birth to him. So he has no offspring, may he be glorified, nor any parent. He neither begets nor is born. Nor does he have any equal from his creation. Nor is there to him any equivalent. Quran, Eklos, 112-1-4 The Christians who say that Allah is part of the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit have committed disbelief. Allah is far above such a statement. Allah is not many, but he is only one God who has no partner. If they do not stop saying such things, a painful punishment will afflict them. Almeida colon 73. Jesus, peace be upon him, said, I am a servant of Allah. He gave me the gospel and made me one of his prophets. And he made me a great benefit for the servants wherever I am. And he ordered me to perform prayer and give zakat for as long as I live. And he made me righteous to my mother. And he did not make me arrogant towards the obedience of my Lord nor did he make me disobedient to her. And safety from the Satans and his helpers is on me on the day of my birth, the day of my death and the day I shall be raised on the day of judgment. The Satan has no evil effect on me in these three frightening places. Maryam colon 30-33. Remember, O messenger, when Jesus son of Mary, peace be upon him, said, O Israelites, I am Allah's messenger. He has sent me to you to confirm the Torah that was revealed before me. I am nothing new among the messengers. I have come to give the good news of a messenger who will come after me, whose name is Ahmad. When Jesus brought the evidence indicating his truthfulness to them, they said, This is clear magic, and we will never follow you. As Saf colon 6. Was Jesus a Christian? No. Was Jesus a Muslim? Yes. 9. Submission to the will of Almighty God Islam. The way of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Following the earlier prophets and fulfilling their laws. Jesus, peace be upon him, submitted himself to the will of Almighty God, Luke 22 42, Matthew 26 39, Mark 14. 36. The oldest translation of the Bible was in Greek language, submission to God was mentioned, James 4 7, in Old Greek language, y pi r e t o v to, and in modern Greek language. Upsilon pi omicron tau alpha chi theta epsilon tau epsilon, lambda omicron iota pi nu, sigma tau omicron nu theta epsilon, the English translation, submit yourself therefore to God, i.e. become a Muslim. Jesus, peace be upon him, worshipped Almighty God, Luke 5.16, Matthew 26.39, Matthew 26.42, Matthew 26.44. Jesus prayed and asked Almighty God for help even when he raised up Lazarus to life, John 11.41-43. Jesus always expressed his subordination to Almighty God, John 5.30, John 14.31. Jesus Christ fulfilled this law, he submitted himself to God, i.e. Jesus, peace be upon him, declared his Islam. Christians way. Christians declare their allegiance to Jesus. Christians believe that one comes to God except through Jesus. i.e. Christians submit their wills to Jesus. Christians ignore that Jesus expressed his subordination to Almighty God, and submitted all his will to Almighty God. Christians do not follow the law fulfilled by Jesus.
Muslims way. Muslims believe that all the prophets from the beginning of the creation were Muslims. Noah, Abraham, Jacob, Lot, Joseph, Moses, Solomon, Jesus and the final prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them because that Jesus they preached the same message. Their coordination to Almighty religion was, submission to the will of Almighty God. i.e. they declared their Islam. The Noble Quran, 1072, 2 to 128,132, 133, 12 to 101, 5 to 3, 44, 27, 30 to 31, 38, 42, 44. 319 to 20, 52, 83, 40, 66. If you ignore my invitation, then you know that I have not asked for any reward from you for my conveying the message of my Lord to you. My reward is only from Allah, whether you have faith in me or not. Allah has instructed me to be of those who devote themselves to him with obedience and good actions. Yunus colon 72. They asked Allah to make them surrender in devotion to his command, humble towards him, not worshipping anyone besides him. And to make their children and their descendants a nation who also surrendered in devotion to him. They also asked Allah to teach them how to worship him, to forgive them for their faults and shortcomings in doing what he instructed them. He turns to those who ask for forgiveness and is compassionate towards his creation. al baqarah colon 128. Abraham advised his sons to also say, I have surrendered to the Lord of people, and Jacob told his sons to do the same. They told their sons that Allah had chosen for them the religion of surrendering in devotion, Islam, and to hold on to it tightly until they died. Surrendering sincerely to Allah on the inside and the outside. Were you present at the time of Jacob's death, when he asked his sons what they would worship after he had died? They replied to him, saying that they would worship Allah, the Lord of his forefathers, Abraham, Ishmael and Isaac, namely, the one Allah without partners. And they said that they surrendered in devotion to him alone and were bound to him. 20. al baqarah colon 132-133. Tell the Jews and Christians who make these baseless claims that you have faith in Allah and the Quran which he revealed to you, and in what he revealed to Abraham and his sons Ishmael and Isaac, and to Jacob, and in what he revealed to the prophets from the descendants of Jacob. Say that you have faith in the Torah which Allah gave to Moses, and the Gospel which he gave to Jesus, and in all the scriptures that he gave to every one of the prophets. With no distinction between them, having faith in all of them, not only having faith in some and rejecting others. Tell them that you humbly surrender to him alone. al baqarah colon 136. Then Joseph called upon his Lord, saying that he had given him power in Egypt and had taught him the interpretation of dreams. And that he is the creator of the heavens and the earth, originating them when there was nothing like them. The protector of all his affairs in the life of this world and the protector of all of them in the afterlife. Joseph asked him to take his soul at the end of his life whilst being in a state of submission to God Muslim and to join him with the righteous prophets from his fathers and others in the highest level of paradise. Yusuf Colon 101 Today I have perfected for you your religion, which is Islam. I have completed my apparent and hidden favors on you. I have selected Islam as your religion, so I will not accept any other. Almeida Colon 3 I sent down the Torah to Moses, peace be upon him, containing guidance towards good and a light to make things clear. Judgment was given in accordance with it by the prophets of the Israelites, who had devoted themselves to following me, as well as by the scholars who used to teach people because I had entrusted them with my book and made them guardians to preserve and protect it from distortion or change. They are witnesses that it is the truth and people refer to them with respect to it. So, Jews, do not fear people, but fear me alone, and do not take in exchange for judgment in accordance with what I have revealed a small price of leadership, fame or wealth. Whoever does not pass judgment in accordance with what I have revealed and considers this to be lawful, better or equal to my judgment, then such people are truly disbelievers. Almeida colon 44. Another favor that Allah reminded him about was that Allah created assistance for him when he inspired the disciples to have faith in him and in Jesus. They submitted to that and responded saying, I believe. Be a witness, O our Lord, that we submit to you in devotion. Almeida colon 111. Indeed, it is from Solomon, and indeed, it reads, in the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. 
The content of this letter which has been sent by Solomon and which begins with, in the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful, is. Be not haughty with me but come to me in submission, as Muslims. Do not be arrogant, and come to me obediently in submitting to what I call you towards. Namely declaring Allah's oneness and leaving associating partners with him which you are involved in, as you worshipped the sun alongside him. al Nomal colon 30-31 so when the queen of Sheba came to Solomon, it was said to her to test her, Is this how your throne is? She answered according to the question, It is as though it was that. Allah has granted us knowledge before her and we were submitting to Allah's order and obeying him. al Nomal colon 42. It was said to her, Enter the palace which was like a plain surface. When she entered it, she thought it was water and uncovered her shins to enter it. Solomon, peace be upon him, said, It is a palace which has been made smooth with glass. He called her to Islam, so she accepted what he called her towards, saying. O Lord, I wronged myself by worshipping others besides you, and I have submitted with Solomon to Allah, Lord of all created things. al Nomal colon 44. The acceptable path in Allah's sight is Islam, the path of surrendering. Devotion of all good actions to Allah alone, submission to him in servitude and acceptance of all messengers, including the final messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him, with whom revelations came to an end, and after whom no sacred laws will remain valid except his. The Jews and Christians only split up into various groups and sects, after evidence was established against them in the form of knowledge that had come to them. Because of envy and greed for the world. Yet for whoever denies the verses of Allah revealed to his messenger, Allah is quick in taking to account those who disbelieve in him and his messengers. If they argue with you, O Messenger, about the truth that has been revealed to you, then say to them in reply, I and the believers who follow me have submitted to Allah. Also, say, O Messenger, to the people of the scripture and the idolaters, do you submit to Allah sincerely, following what I have brought? If they submit to Allah and follow your sacred law, then they are on the path of guidance. If they turn away from Islam, then your duty is only to give your message to them, then Allah will decide about them. He watches his servants and will reward them according to their actions. Ali Imran colon 19-20 When Jesus realized that they were going to continue in their disbelief, he addressed the Israelites, saying, Who will help me in calling towards Allah? His chosen followers said, We are the ones who will help Allah's religion. We have faith in Allah and we follow you. Be a witness, O Jesus, that we submit to Allah by accepting his oneness and following him. Ali Imran colon 52. Do these people, who leave the religion of Allah and his obedience, look for something other than the religion Allah has chosen for his worship when every creation in the heavens and earth surrenders to him, whether willingly like the believers, or unwillingly. Like the disbelievers, then all of creation will return to him on the day of resurrection to give an account for their actions. Say, O Messenger, that you have faith in Allah, doing as he instructs you, and that you have faith in the revelation that was given to you, and to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, and Jacob, and in what was revealed to the prophets among Jacob's descendants, and in the scriptures and miracles that were given to Moses, Jesus and all the prophets by their Lord. Also, say that you make no distinction between them, believing in all of them, and that you are bound to Allah alone, surrendering in devotion to him. Ali Imran colon 83 to 84. O Messenger, say, Allah has forbidden me from worshipping those whom you worshipped besides Allah, these idols which do not benefit or harm. When the clear proof and evidence have come to me regarding the falsehood of worshipping them. And Allah has ordered me to submit to him alone through worship, as he is the Lord of all the creation. There is no Lord besides him. Gothia colon 66. No one is better in religion than the one who surrenders to Allah outwardly and inwardly, does good actions and follows the religion of Abraham. Which forms the basis of the religion of Muhammad, peace be upon him, inclining away from idolatry and disbelief to monotheism and faith. Allah chose his prophet Abraham as a close friend from amongst all of his creation. And Nisa colon 125. Say, O Messenger, to the idolaters who worship idols and other things together with Allah, does it make sense that I take anyone other than Allah as a guardian and a protector from whom I seek help? 
Allah is the one who created the heavens and the earth without any precedent. There was no creator before him. He is the one who gives provision to whichever of his servants he wishes, and none of his servants provide for him. He is not in any need of his servants, but his servants are in need of him. Say, O Messenger, my Lord has instructed me to be the first one from this nation to submit and be humble. He has prohibited me from being of those who associate others as partners with him. Alan apostrophe and colon 14. Say, O Messenger, to these idolaters, shall we worship, besides Allah, idols that have no ability to benefit us, nor can they harm us with? Shall we turn back from faith after Allah has guided us to it? If we do so, we will be like the one whom Satans have misled, leaving him confused, not knowing the right path. And where he has companions on the straight path who call him to the truth, but he refuses to respond to their call. Say to them, O Messenger, Allah's guidance is the true guidance, and he has instructed us to submit to him, may he be glorified, by being firm in our belief in his oneness and by worshipping him alone. Because he is the Lord of the worlds. Allen apostrophe and colon 71. Then they turned to Allah in prayer, O our Lord. Pour upon us patience so that we will be able to stand firmly for the truth and let us die in a state of surrendering in devotion to you, doing as you command, and following your messenger. Allah apostrophe raf colon 126. If they do not bring what the messenger challenges them to, and they are unable to do it. Then the believers should know with certainty that the Quran is revealed from Allah by his knowledge to his messenger, and that it is not fabricated, and that there is no true God except for him. Allah asks whether you surrender to him in devotion after these conclusive proofs. Hud colon 14. Say, O messenger, it is only revealed to me from my Lord that your true deity is only one, he has no partner, and he is Allah. So submit to believing in him, and acting in his obedience. Alanbio apostrophe colon 108. O believers, do not discuss and debate with the Jews and Christians to whom the divine books were revealed, except in the best of manners and most exemplary of ways. Inviting them by exhortation and establishing clear proofs. As for those of them who oppress by showing stubbornness and arrogance, fight them until they submit, or pay the jizya with their own hands while subdued. And say to the Jews and the Christians, I have believed in whatever Allah has revealed to us in the Quran, and in the Torah and Gospel that was revealed to you. Our Lord is one and so is yours, he has no partner in his lordship, worship or perfection, and we submit and humble ourselves to him alone. al Ankabut colon 46. You are not able to guide those who have deviated from the straight path, onto treading the right path. Neither are you able to make anyone hear something beneficial to them, except those who believe in my verses, because only they are the ones who will benefit from whatever you say. They are the ones submissive and accepting of my command. Aram colon 53. Was Jesus a Christian? No. Was Jesus a Muslim? Yes.